Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about history of IP in India. So, history of IP in, in India is actually classified into three categories or three phases that we will discuss in the later stage. But two or two of the phases came comes under the British era only. One after the uh, independence, or you can say the post independence. So the under this there are many topics are there we will start one by one uh, first we will see ip in the, with respect to the patents how it where it started and where it started the history of the indian patent system dates back to the pre-independence era of british rule as i told you the first patent related to the registration in india was uh, during 1856 that is under act 4 of 18 act 6 of uh, uh, 1856 which is adopted from the british patent law which was introduced in 1852 that means in british patent law in 1852 it was introduced out of which in india in it was uh, enacted in 1856 now the objective of this legislation was to encourage the innovations of new and useful manufacturers so especially for the manufacturing era it was 18 to 19th century age if you see the manufacturing went on skyrocketing so that's why any useful or any inventions are there okay the ip rights were used to be given by the british uh, uh, government now the right conferred to the inventor were termed as exclusive privileges so in 19, 1859 after almost uh, uh, three years uh, certain amendments were made uh, in, in uh, to the act such as a grant of exclusive privileges which is nothing but to useful inventions okay and increase of priority time for from six months to 12 months in order to just encourage priority time was six months that was in exceeded, uh, extended to 12 months and then exclusion of the importers from the definition of the inventors if anyone is in uh, bringing any new uh, uh, product from outside india and if they want to sell it here as an inventor no that is not possible so these are of, uh, of the things which are changes which have been made now the world's first patent was granted in 1970 to samuel hopkins in usa for the making of pot ash and pearl ash by the new apparatus and process in order to tell the origin of ip in india we need to just quote where exactly it started from the beginning so in india the first patent known as exclusive privileges at that time was awarded in 1956 to the civil engineer george alfred d penning from calcutta for his invention and efficient punka pulling machine so that was the first patented machine in india in 1856 so that was about the patents and next to copyrights and related rights how how exactly it is originated in india the concept of copyright started way back in 15th century however the actual need of the copyright laws was felt only after the invention of the printers and copiers why because when the printers was not there the copiers was not there the original document used to be original only later this when the printer came the government all uh, the confidential uh, 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 data and all started leaking that's why the copyrights came into picture so during the 15th and 16th century printing was invented and widely established in europe copies of bibles were first to be printed now the government had allowed the printing of the documents without any restrictions in the earlier stage but then they realized they led to the spreading of a lot of governmental information subsequently the government started issuing the license for the printing now the evolution of the copyright laws in india occurred in three phases as i told you the first two phases in the pre uh, british era and the last stage in after independence the first two phases were enacted during the british raj in the first phase the concept of the copyrights was introduced in 1847 though the enactment or uh, implemented during the east india company's regime the term copyrights was the f uh, was for the lifetime for the authors plus seven years after the death that was the first case your copyright is for your lifetime and then after your death seven years it will have your copy you only after seven years you will not have any copy copyrights it will be given to the public so in the second phase indian legislative under the british raj enacted copyright act of 1941 which is based on the imperial copyrights act that is way back 1911 of the uk an act for criminal sanction for the infringement was introduced that means if anyone copies the cop uh, without permission or uh, the copyright or not then he or she will be punished with a criminal sanction so that was uh, introduced in the second phase the third phase uh, 
the copyright regime was witnessed post independence the copyright act 1957 that was enacted in 1957 the 1957 act has been amended six times that is in 1983 84 92 90 4 and 99 and lastly 90 2012 there are five, six different times it has been changed to comply with wipo that is world intellectual property organization because some of the laws were against we are going going against wipo so we had to change it so and the copyright treaty that is wct 1996 and wipo for, for, uh, performances and uh, phonogram treaty in 1996 that was about the copyrights and next we are having patents or copyrights or next the trademarks trademarks the first statutory law related to trademark or you can say the team in india was trademark act in 1940 which was carved out from the trademarks act 1938 of the uk again pre independence of british raj next we are having the geographical indications in india Uh, as a member of wto enacted uh, the geographical indications of the goods or registration and the protection act in 1999 it came into force with the effect in from the 15 september 2003 these all things we should remember or you should by our or you should write it and practice geographical indications have been defined under the article 22 of one of wto agreement on the trips so with respect to this only it will uh, it will be followed in trade secrets although india has no specific trade secrets laws in the courts indian courts have upheld trade secrets protection under the various statutes including the contract law copyright law the principles of equity and the common law action of the breach of confidence which is in effect uh, amounts to the breach of uh, contractual obligations so these are the some of the specific types where the court of india has upheld the trade secrets for example trade secrets is actually like kfc it has got its own uh, the what to say uh, a particular menu or how to prepare this uh, uh keeps the chicken that will not be disclosed anywhere even though if it is disclosed it will publicly available nobody can take it okay then it comes as a patent or something and all but trade secrets is something which is still kept as secret okay so next topic is major amendments in ip laws and acts in india that we will discuss in the next class